It's all on the line tonight for the Vancouver Canucks. The puck drop is just over half an hour away, or a little bit more than that. But to stay alive, of course, the Canucks have to win or they're going to be eliminated. Take a look at part of the latest viral video making the rounds today. from the Canucks.com fan zone. It's received over 5,000 hits since it was posted just yesterday. Now, he's not here. He lives on Vancouver Island. But we do have two other podcasters, Dave Olson and Josh Hall, and, of course, the fan zone's Jamie Olivier. So it is, I mean, we could go on forever about the cliches, right? Do or die, now or never, <laughs> backs against the wall. But I want to know what you guys think about it. I'm comfortable and cautiously optimistic. This feels like regular Canucks. It was the four and out against St. Louis felt weird. Here we are, backs against the wall on a rainy day. This is regular Canucks hockey. <laughs> what about you, Josh? Well, to me, I'm really comparing it to the season. Like, we started the season off well, started the playoffs well, and now we've lost two just like we lost the uh, eight in a row in January, and I think we're going to bounce back now, just like we did in February. Okay, well, they're obviously optimistic, aren't they? Jamie, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie, Jamie's with the fan zone, and uh, that video actually has been sent to the Canucks in Chicago. Oh, that's right, the Canucks love that video. They yeah. come, uh, very, very inspirational, yeah. and uh, it really captures what people are thinking now and feeling about the, about the team, and uh, of course, they're going to win today. It's inspirational. <laughs> totally inspirational. Well, Powell, Powell started against Chicago in 82, so I think it's just going to continue on tonight. You think so? You really do. Okay, back here for game seven. <laughs> well, you have to be optimistic, but you actually do an audio podcast with several of your friends. I, I, I don't understand how the technology works, but anyway, what they're, do you talk about? Well, they're wee little internet audio documentaries, yeah. and me and some friends who are also Canucks bloggers and fans from around BC, we connect via the internet or even phones when I call them from the C bus and we record these kind of round table shows uh, from a fan's perspective. It's none of the suit and tie TV commentary. But, it's you know, it's I just, just renegade to, style. I need to ask one technical question though. You're on your phone on the C bus. How can you record that? This is going to be a whole long conversation. Let's just say <laughs> the internet does it automatically. <laughs> automatically, I love that. <laughs> and Josh, you're actually a video podcaster. Uh, that's right. Um, I do a podcast from my own home. I have my webcam set up on top of my computer monitor, mm -hmm. and I do pregame, I do a postgame, and I've even done some special, special edition ones. I've done a wrap. Ah. and uh, a couple other ones. I think we've got one. We should watch it. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not that you'll be embarrassed or anything. <laughs> I'm not a Flames or an Oilers fan. I don't walk a red mile, throw octopi, or own a jersey with strings. I don't root for a Ginla, Hemsky, or Koi Boo. Although, I'm sure they are very talented. We have a little long ago. Not a cure song. I speak with fact, not fiction. I pronounce it Bietza, not Bieska. And I can proudly wear my jersey in public. I'm going to put you both on the line. What's the score going to be? <laughs> Two nothing. Two nothing. Four three in overtime. Four One three overtime. overtime. Jamie, oh, I have to, I'd say three e zero. Okay, all right, you guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming in, and I can only say I hope you're right. <laughs>